Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra Costello, creative organizing expert from Alejandra.tv, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of my super organized home and show you all the organizing systems that I have in place that when followed on a daily basis, you're more efficient, more productive, things are less stressful, and life is just more enjoyable. Let's go. Welcome to my house. I'm so excited you're here. In just a few moments, I'm gonna show you some of the major organizing systems I have in place inside my house that keeps us really efficient and productive on a daily basis. Let's start in the kitchen. Okay, so before we get started, if you are just beginning to declutter and organize your home, there's a link below to help you get started for free. So the kitchen is one of those communal areas that everyone in the family uses and it's important to have organizing systems in place so things are easy to find but also easy to put back. So let's start in the junk drawer. Okay, so here is our junk drawer and it has everything that we need and use around this area inside the house. And I used aqua organizers to make this drawer a little bit more fun because when your organizing system is more fun, it can inspire you to maintain and keep up with the organization. Okay, so now that I showed you the junk drawer, let me show you what's in this cabinet right here. So this cabinet right here has everything that we use um, as a family, everything that's like communal. Okay, so on the cabinet door right here, we mounted sheet metal because the front of our refrigerator is not magnetic, and this is really easy to do. Cut sheet metal, mount it with double-sided mounting tape, and now we have all of our important reminders, cards, checklists right here, nice and accessible, easy to find. And right here, I have a really nice checklist. It's called In Case of Emergency, and it has all of our important phone numbers for neighbors, utilities, doctors and so forth and so whenever we need a phone number we come here find exactly what we need it's fast easy and it keeps us productive and then on this shelf right here we have all of our medications vitamins first aid kit and uh, i use a lazy susan for all of the round bottles because you organize round things on a round organizer to maximize space right here we have a little recycling bin so this is for all of our expired medications so every time we see something that's expired or we notice it we pop it into this little recycling bin, and then when it gets filled, we responsibly dispose of our medications. Over here, we have these two tackle boxes that has all of the first aid stuff and medications that aren't inside bottles. And I use a tackle box that's nice and easy to access. So whenever you need some kind of Band-Aid or something, you just come here, you find exactly what you need. It's nice and fast and you just grab it immediately. There's no looking for things, there's no messing around. It's nice and easy. On this shelf right here, I have my battery organizer, and all the batteries are sorted by category, like by size, making it really easy to find the right battery when you need it, no frustration. So I used a tackle box again, and I just labeled all the sections with a bright yellow label tape from my label maker, so everything stands out. Come here, grab exactly what you're looking for, and put it back. When you have a dead battery, on this shelf, I have this little recycling bin. It's so cute. It says batteries, and you just pop in your dead battery, and then when this thing gets filled, you just recycle your batteries properly. Up here, I have all of my essential oils inside this wooden box that's away from sunlight, because you should keep essential oils away from sunlight. And my husband and I made this together, and all we did was we took a wooden box that was $2, and then we took a uh, gardening knee pad from the dollar store. We punched holes and now all of our essential oils won't touch each other, they won't fall over, and they're nice and um, organized in this nice box that costs less than five dollars. The top two shelves are empty because we don't have anything to store up there. It's okay to have empty space. Now that I showed you this cabinet, let me show you one of my favorite drawers in the kitchen, the tea drawer. So this is my tea drawer and I love this drawer because I open it and it's this rainbow assortment of tea bags and you just feel really calm, it's fun to look at and it's easy to find exactly what kind of tea you want to drink. Now that I showed you the tea drawer, let me show you the spice cabinet right next to the stove where you want to have your spices nice and accessible, easy to access. So all of the spices are organized on a lazy season because again, you organize round items on a round organizer to maximize space. So you just come here, spin this, find exactly what you need, put it back, it's really easy, and when your cabinets are organized and everything in the kitchen has a home, cooking in the evening is a lot easier, faster, and a lot more enjoyable. Okay, so now that I showed you how to organize this cabinet, let me share with you how I've organized a deep kitchen drawer. 
All right, so in this drawer right here, I have all of my food storage containers, and this is a large deep drawer. So what you wanna do when you have a space like this is break it up into smaller sections using drawer dividers so things aren't floating all around. I organize all the bottoms together and all the lids together, and everything is stacked on top of each other. So when I need something, I come in here, grab exactly whatever size container I need, close the drawer, and it's very easy and frustration-free. Now let me show you one of my entertaining drawers. So this drawer right here is all about entertaining and entertaining is fun. And so I used hot pink fun organizers to make the drawer feel more fun. Now that I shared with you this drawer, let me share with you what I've done in the pantry. Okay, so this is the pantry and I've set up a bunch of organizing systems to make everything nice and easy. So when you come in here, you find exactly what you're looking for. There's no frustration and you stay focused. So right here, we have a tiered shelf that we use for all of our canned goods. So you walk in here, you see all the labels, grab what you need and go. And the cool thing about this tiered shelf is my husband made it. He took wood, stained it, assembled it, and we're not using plastic, it feels homemade and the theme of this pantry is I wanted it to feel really homey and just I didn't want bright colors and stuff and so it just matches the theme of the pantry so up here so we use glass canisters to organize all the dry goods and things that come out of a package and into a jar and then my grandma hand wrote all the labels to give it a nice special homey touch and now I just love grabbing them they're so nice and accessible they're airtight so things will last longer so what you can do when you have dry goods in a container is cut out any information you need like cooking instructions or nutritional whatever it is and pop it on the back here so this is a business pocket adhesive sticker popped on onto the jar and then cut out the important information stick it inside and now you'll never lose it and then on this side over here i used two lazy susans for all of the round um, condiments and any other round bottle in the pantry and this was actually my mom's lazy susan from the 70s which again it makes it feel homey it feels warm and it's still accessible and easy to grab so down here i have these freestanding drawers for all of the things that come into a package and you just take them out and you toss them inside here so right here there's snacks there's sweets and there's chips so whenever you want a snack you just open this drawer and you just fish around and grab exactly what you're looking for and when you have boxes like this you take the snacks out and you just toss them inside the bin just like that and then you reuse or you recycle your box this drawer right here has all the sweets, same thing. If something comes into a package, you take it out of the package, toss it into the bin, just like that. So down here is the chips drawer, and when you have chips, they're bulky, they need a lot of space, and so I use the biggest drawer possible to organize all the big bulky things. So when you're setting up your organizing systems in the pantry, you know, figure out what you buy often and then set up your systems around um, the things that often come into the space. So on the drawers on the sides, there's just a bunch of refills for all the glass jars that I showed you above. And then on this wall right here, we had a lot of dead space. And so what I did was I found this organizer. It's actually for organizing file folders. And I put all of our produce. So there's onions, like produce that doesn't go in the fridge. There's onions, there's potatoes, and then this is um, an overflow, which I doubt will ever get used. And then we just lined the bottom with burlap so none of the shedding of the onions or potatoes will drop to the floor and make a mess. And then right here, here, just have a bag organizer for all of our plastic bags that we reuse around the house. So if you ever can't find the pantry inside the house, we have a label that says pantry. Okay, so now that I shared with you how to organize the pantry, let me show you my office where I spend a lot of my time. So this is my office where I spend a lot of my time running my business and teaching people how to get organized and so it's important to have the right organizing systems in place so i stay productive i stay efficient and i stay focused on whatever i'm working on so let me show you the desk area first so i spent a lot of time right here working and so what i wanted to do was have minimal things on my desk and distracting me so i stay focused so all i have here is some pens, markers and stuff. And then right here, I have all of my bills to pay, things that are like one task and done. Anything that's more than one task, like five tasks or 10 tasks, it becomes a project. So up here, I have all of my projects. So anything that is more than one task gets a folder, becomes a project. And all I do here is I put all the papers inside here and then I label the outside with the name of the project so I know exactly what is what. When I look up here, there's no confusion, out of sight, out of mind. I just look here and I know exactly what everything is. 
Now, once the project is done, I'll take out all the papers. I will recycle them if I don't need them, shred them if they have sensitive information, or archive them if I need to save them. And then up here, I have cards and thank you notes from members around our community um, just expressing their gratitude. And whenever I'm having a bad day or I'm experiencing some kind of challenge, I come here and I read the cards and it just reminds me to keep going, keep sharing, and just keep taking steps forward even if they're baby steps. Okay, so down here in these drawers, I have everything I need to be productive at my desk. So this top drawer has all of my office supplies that I need to stay productive at my desk. And instead of using plastic organizers, I found these cardboard gift boxes from the dollar store. And they fit perfectly, and they're hot pink inside, which makes them a little bit more fun. And you know what, this drawer is just so fun, it inspires me to keep it that way. So this next drawer is my shipping drawer, which has everything I need to mail something, to pay a bill, and I use drawer dividers to break up the space and create little compartments for each type of item. And then this bottom drawer is more like receipts, technology stuff. And the cool thing about this drawer is I used tension rods as drawer, drawer dividers. It's less expensive. It's easier to find tension rods than drawer organizers, and it works perfectly. This next system is one of my favorite organizing systems in the office. It's my shred bin, my trash bin, and my recycling bin. And anytime I check the mail, which is every day, I come here, I take the mail, and I sort it accordingly so piles don't stack up. So if there's shred, I toss it in the shred bin. If there's recycling, I put it in the recycling bin. And if there's any trash, I toss it in the trash bin. I do a little bit each day, does not take longer than like two to three minutes, and by the end of the week, there's no piles of mail. So this right here is my organizing workshop. I have all of my organizing supplies that I need to set up a system, and also office supplies, craft supplies, and anything I might need in the office to stay productive. So on this side of the closet, all I did was I saved seven ice cream containers that we've been collecting for a while. And then I sorted all of my markers and pens and pencils by category. It's really easy to get this look. All you have to do is eat seven pints of ice cream, save the containers, and then organize all of your writing instruments by category, pop them in here, and they're easy to find and they're nice and accessible. Down here, um, I have more containers. So these are little tins that have hooks inside. So instead of using a label from your label maker or handwriting a label, you can just glue something on the outside and it tells you what is inside. So on this side of the shelf, I have these four recycling bins for properly um, recycling pens, pencils, markers, ink cartridges, label cartridges, just like this, that when you're done, you can recycle it, gift cards, and so when these containers fill up, we responsibly let go of them as opposed to putting them in the trash can. It's all about responsibly decluttering your home. If you're gonna take the time to bring things in, you should take the time to let go of things. So this is part of my new program on Simplicity. There's a link below to check it out. On this shelf right here, I have all of my paints and I made my own Lazy Susan using two baking pans and a pack of marbles from the dollar store. And this is what it looks like. There's two baking pans, pack of marbles. Then when you assemble it, which takes two seconds, you spin it and you have a homemade Lazy Susan for $3. Right here I have a file box that has all of my greeting cards organized by occasion. So next time I have an event, I just come here and I find the exact card I'm looking for. You don't have to rush out to the store. Come here, looking for a congratulations card, grab a card, pull it out, and then put it back. Right here I have a ladder hook that we put into the wall and now all of our gift bags hang by size and every time I need a gift bag I just come here and I quickly look for the right one, grab it, and I'm done. So right here I have all of my gift wrap and wrapping paper that's out of the way, it's off the floor so it's not gonna get, you know, damaged and all I did here was I took a pipe cleaner, I wrapped it around the open wrapping paper and now the ends aren't gonna get unraveled, ripped or torn and you'll be able to give a gift that's in nice shape. So right here I have all of my sticky notes and everything is organized by color so you can find whatever color you want nice and easy. So over here I have all of my books, my binders, and printer and scanner up here. Everything is very accessible, easy to grab, and easy to use. So down here I have all of my binders for uh, my work and my business and stuff and every single thing inside each of these binders is super organized making it even easier to find exactly what you're looking for. This is our home binder and inside this binder there's a nice cover sheet which all the binders have and then inside here 
there's dividers and all of the dividers are labeled by what categories, what keeping you focused on what you're looking for, no distractions, there's no searching for lost documents, every single thing is accounted for. One other thing I wanted to show you was this little cord organizer that just pops on the back of the furniture and it prevents your wires and cords from falling behind and getting lost. This is my filing cabinet which has all of my tax documents and then all of my files. This is my tax drawer and everything is organized by personal tax documents and business tax documents. Everything is labeled by year and then if it's personal or business and everything is organized into these nice folders so small papers like receipts that don't fall out and permanently get lost. And so it has my tax return, any kind of supporting documentation and then everything is labeled by year and then if it's personal or business. When you have all your documents super organized, it makes accessing things super easy, simple, and frustration free. Okay, so now that I showed you some of the major organizing systems I have set up inside my office to keep me productive on a daily basis, let's go upstairs and I'm gonna show you how I've organized my closet and my bathroom so getting ready every single morning is super easy and I get out the door on time. Now, if you're watching this video and you're just thinking, wow, I'm so behind on getting organized, my house is a mess, and I just don't know where to start, just pick one small project that's high priority, start it, finish it completely, and move on to the next thing. If you start too many projects at once, it can get even more overwhelming on top of the overwhelming clutter you have around your house. So here I am in my closet, and this is a closet that my husband and I share together. Half of it's my stuff, half of it is his stuff, and every single thing is in an organizing system, which makes getting dressed in the morning super easy and efficient. So all I've done here is I've organized all my clothes by category, and then once everything's organized by category, I've organized it by color. So all of my hanging stuff is here, and then all of my drawers here. So all of my drawers are organized by category and then I labeled each of the drawers so I know what is what. Now, if you don't like to have a lot of labels in your house but you wanna know what's inside, you could temporarily label your systems, use them as like training wheels, and then once the information is memorized, just peel the label off and you know what is what and what goes where. I don't mind having labels and it helps. All right, so in this drawer right here, I have all of my pajamas and when I reach for pajamas, I normally just grab whatever is on top. And so because I do that, everything is just stacked one on top of the other as opposed to filed and stored vertically like another drawer down here. So this drawer down here has all of my long sleeve shirts and again, they're filed vertically. So when I open the drawer, I can find exactly what I'm looking for and find the right long sleeve shirt that I'm looking for. At the very top of the closet, I have a donation bin for all the clothes that I try on, they don't work out, I wear them, they're not comfortable anymore. And anytime that does happen, I take the article of clothing, I toss it in the laundry basket. When the laundry basket gets filled, I take it down, I itemize it, and then I make the appropriate donations. So I use, I use uniform hangers inside my closet because I like the matching look. You don't have to do that. Um, but the important thing to note here is that all of the clothes have room to breathe. Nothing is scrunched together like this. Um, it's really easy to take something out, to put it back. Before we moved to this new house, we decluttered our home of hundreds of pounds of stuff and I got rid of a bunch of clothes and it feels so much lighter inside this closet. It feels a lot easier to get dressed because everything here I actually wear. It, I feel nice in it, I love it, and I only have the things that I use, need, and love nothing more, no distractions, and um, when the space has only the things that you use and need, it's a lot easier to maintain and you just feel lighter. On this wall right here, I have this jewelry organizer that my husband and I made together, and it hang, you know, I have all my necklaces hanging here, my bracelets, my rings, earrings, very easy. There's not a lot of jewelry. When there's less options, it's a lot faster to get ready in the morning. So at the very top of the closet, you can see there's an empty shelf, there's nothing up there, I don't have enough stuff to fill this closet, and just because I have open space does not mean that I should go out and buy more stuff. It's okay to have empty space, it actually feels lighter, there's more, it feels like it's easier to breathe in here um, when it's not jam-packed. On the inside of the door is a great place to maximize space. So what I've done here is I use over the door hooks to hang all of my scarves, and sometimes there's a sweatshirt or two here, but what you wanna do is, don't hang too much weight on the back of the door because it's going to make it really heavy to open and close. Keep it light, keep it simple, and only hold on to the things that you actually use, need, and love. Now that I showed you how I've organized my entire closet, let me share with you how I've organized the bathroom so getting ready is easy in the morning and cleaning is even easier.
Okay, so here we are in the bathroom and I'm gonna show you all the different organizing systems I have in place. So the first one is my bathroom countertop. And as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff on the counter because I like to keep it minimal so it's easy to clean because every night I come down and I wipe the excess water and any dirt and other gross stuff. So it's really fast when there's not a lot of stuff. Um, so just have just what I need and nothing else. So over here is the medicine cabinet and I have everything that I need and use on a daily basis, nice and accessible. And, but also out of the way. So on the door of the medicine cabinet, I took a bunch of information that I wanted to memorize. I laminated it. I hung it on the, the door to maximize my vertical space. And I've read these things so many times and now I just have all this information memorized, which was the point of putting all this stuff right here. And then right here, I have this magnetic strip. It's actually sheet metal I just cut. And then I wrapped it in fabric tape from the dollar store, which is awesome tape. And then I just put magnets on the back of my tweezers, just like this and now it just stays out of the way, but nice and accessible on the door. And then right here, I have my scissors, and then I also have nail clippers that again, they hang on these hooks, and they are super easy to access. Okay, so now let me show you what's inside the drawers. So the top drawer right here has all of my makeup, and as you can see, there's not a lot of makeup because I got rid of a bunch of stuff, and now I just have just the things that I use, need, and then the products that I I love to wear. And basically there's like one or two of everything. And I took a bunch of clear organizers, lined the drawer, and I sorted everything pretty much by category. Some categories are mixed in, but for the most part, brushes are together, lip stuff is together, eye stuff is together, and so forth. So now everything is super accessible. It's easy to put back, and it's also easy to clean if I took everything out, wiped it down, because there's not a lot of stuff. Okay, so this drawer has all of, this little section right here has all of Mojo's stuff for brushing her teeth, combing her and stuff. And then all of the feminine care is back here. And I sorted everything by category to make it a little bit easier to find exactly what you're looking for when you need it. And then when you have a big drawer like this, if you don't wanna use drawer organizers, like I showed in this drawer, what you can do is get uh, drawer dividers, just like this, and you just cut them to size and then you just place them exactly where you want them. So they're just a little bit more customizable. And then the last drawer down here is a deep drawer and it has all of my hair stuff. So all I did here was I used the same dividers that I used inside this drawer. Instead, I got taller ones and I created this little section right here so I could take all of my hair brushes and then stand them up as opposed to just letting them lie in this deep drawer and then they get lost and they're hard to access. That way you're maximizing the um, you know, the, the height of your drawer. And then back here I have my blow dryer, my flat iron. And the cool thing down here is I lined it with contact paper that's kind of like a cushion contact paper. So when you put something in here, this is a wooden drawer and it makes a lot of noise if you just stick this in here. So when I put this back, it doesn't make a loud noise. Okay, so now let me share with you what's inside the uh, cabinet doors right here. All right, so this is under the vanity sink. Um, let me share with you what's on the door. So on the door, I just have two command hooks for hanging a, um, a cloth for wiping down the sink every night before I go to sleep. That just hangs right here, nice and out of the way. And then right here, I just have another tool for removing fuzz on clothes and stuff. And then back here, I just used stackable organizers to maximize the, uh, the vertical space in this cabinet because you have this pipe that's in the way. So the best way to organize a space that has this pipe, annoying pipe in the way, is to build up and you accomplish that using stackable organizers. So right here I just have bulk supplies um, for the bathroom and then down here I just have electronics that I use inside the bathroom as well. And then over here, so, so on this side of the cabinet I have a household recycling bin. So for a while I was noticing that a lot of things in the bathroom could be recycled and instead of saving all the stuff and walking down to the kitchen, I thought it was easier just to add a recycling bin in the bathroom for empty shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles, the ends of the uh, toilet paper tubes, all that stuff can be recycled. And now I'm finding that 90% of the stuff in the bathroom is recycling and like 10% is actual trash. So this has been great. So then over here, I have a makeup recycling bin and then a dental recycling bin. And so every time I have empty makeup containers or empty dental containers or tubes or something, they go inside here. And then when these things are full, I responsibly recycle them and responsibly declutter my bathroom cabinet. 
So on this cabinet door right here, I have a over the cabinet door organizer to maximize your vertical space. And then I have uh, cleaners right here for cleaning around the house that I made all of them myself. So all I did here was I grabbed a glass bottle from the dollar store. This is a garlic wine vinegar bottle. And then I took a plastic top, plastic bottle top again from the dollar store, added it here. And then I grabbed a koozie from the dollar store, put it around the bottle um, to make the glass more insulated less noisy, but also because these cleaners have essential oils inside them and essential oils shouldn't be exposed to sunlight. So this keeps the sunlight out. Um, and then I labeled the top with what the cleaner is. It says glass cleaner. And then around the bottle underneath here, it has the recipe for what the cleaner is. So when this runs out, I know exactly how to refill it and there's no stopping to research, you know, how to make this again. And so that goes there and that's the bathroom vanity. Okay, so that's everything. So I've shown you a lot of different organizing systems that we have inside our home that keeps us productive, efficient around the house, easy to find things, but also easy to put things back. I hope this video has inspired you to begin decluttering your house and begin setting up organizing systems that are gonna work for you and your family. If you're looking to begin decluttering and begin getting more organized, there's a link below to help you get started. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my website, alahandra.tv, for more tools and training on living a more organized life. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on getting organized. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.